Gun. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel body armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel body armor just won't quit. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Every year we make resolutions to lose weight and get in shape. And the truth is, it's hard. Even with diet and exercise, because of toxic food and our environment that is stressing our bodies more than ever before. Working with experts in nutrition and biochemistry, I found that super high quality nutraceuticals, in addition to my diet and exercise, were the answers that synergistically worked. I can see the drastic changes every day with the amount of weight I've lost, my increased stamina, and more of a twinkle in my eye. That's why we are now so excited to launch the InfoWars Life Resolution Pack, combining three essential formulations, oxygen-based cleanser oxy powder, the secret 12 bioavailable vitamin B12, and your choice of super female or super male vitality. Now all available at a discounted price to you and your family to bring in the new year and make 2015 a true success. That's InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. 2015 is the year to do it, and it all starts at InfoWarsLife.com. To an InfoWars.com frontline report. It's Alex Jones. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. There is a literal orgy of insane news today. Europe's leading rabbi says let Jews carry guns for protection. That's out of Newsmax. Hey, rabbi, I got a better idea. How about everybody in Europe's able to carry guns, including felons? Because felons are going to carry guns anyways, so I don't want any gun laws. Any gun laws other than private property, people should be able to restrict it on their private property if they see fit. Back in the old days, even 60, 70 years ago, in fact, before the 68 Gun Control Act, when you got out of prison, if you'd been arrested with a gun at the time and you owned it, they would give you your gun back. Famously, what is it, in High Plains Drifter? with Clint Eastwood. When they let the bad guys out of the jail at the beginning of the movie, they give them their guns. That's how it really worked because a criminal is going to have a gun anyways. You don't take somebody's horse and you don't take somebody's gun. That's why you could be executed for stealing somebody's horse because somebody could die if you took their horse. Now, Hollywood sells the image of Wild Wild West high crime. You actually study the first 100 years of U.S. history other than wars and infighting, crime was very, very low because most people were armed. And you certainly didn't have people's houses getting robbed. 
But Europe's leading rabbi let Jews carry guns for protection. Well, the head of Interpol said last year, which I thought was amazing, as Interpol's pretty corrupt in my view, when radical Islamists continue to attack shopping malls around the world, including Kenya, he said that it's now time for law-abiding citizens to be able to have concealed carry and to be armed. That will stop this. And that's absolutely true. Imagine if these Islamists would have tried to attack the average business in, say, Texas, where maybe 20% of people are concealed carry. It would look like trying to rob a police station instead of a bank. You would get your butt shot off. A prominent Jewish organization in Europe is petitioning the European Union to allow members of the Jewish community to carry guns for the essential protection of their communities. That won't be allowed because if that idea came, well, then other people are going to want it, right? But see, the feminists say women shouldn't have guns because a woman being empowered to protect themselves, that, that's not feminist. Of course, it's completely feminist. It's beyond feminist. It's human. See, See, they want your guns to enslave you. And I know our listeners know that, but the general public still doesn't completely get it. They're starting to. The system arms to the teeth while telling us we should turn our guns in. The European Jewish Association is pressing for new legislation that would change the gun license laws, which are basically impossible in Europe to get guns, after a series of deadly attacks on Jews across Europe, most recently during the Paris terrorist hostage siege, which killed four Jews in the kosher market. Yeah, in Israel. Pretty much anybody can get an M16 to protect themselves. And they arm the uh, settlers and everybody else. But then the ADL uh, lobbies to take guns of American people. So I think what's good for Israel or Switzerland is good for us. Switzerland has the lowest crime rate in the world. And every military age person has to own a gun and then after that there's tax incentives to own guns and when you're part of the militia they do home inspections to make sure your guns are hidden in case a foreign enemy ever took over and they have weapons caches in redoubts all over the hills and mountains where citizens can get in to caches of full auto grenade launchers you name it and by the way switzerland has one of the smallest militaries in the world and for five Hundred years, no one will invade them. 450 something years. The story of William Tell is true. We have to do a report on William Tell that shot the apple off with the crossbow. They really made him do that. And then he got mad and went and killed a bunch of the police who were Austrian Hungarian Empire basically had taken over Switzerland. And he started an uprising that overthrew them. That's why Switzerland became the model of us in 1776. Switzerland itself was imitating the free areas of the Netherlands previously, where the private business owners had to guard their own businesses at their ports from pirates. And so if you had a little port, you would have your own garrison, your own cannons, your own weapons. So the Netherlands and Switzerland is where we get this from. And if you study William Tell, then you know the rest of the story. And so that's why they have the lowest crime rate in the world. And they're armed to the teeth with armored redoubts, big steel doors they have keys to. They can trust their citizens. And they can open it up. And there's food and weapons in huge caches. And guess what? Nobody ever robs them. Hey, Alex, I've actually been to Switzerland. And I've seen... The armored redoubts, I've seen the tank blockades as you drive through these little villages. Yeah, for folks that don't know, the people have the tanks. In fact, do you live there, what, for six months? Six uh, months back in the 90s. and uh, Working on a ski resort. Tell folks about exactly. it. I'm glad you brought this up. Well, it, it is interesting. And I thought it was, they had these tank blockades this is Rob as you're driving speaking. through. Uh, this is Rob Dew, the news director, speaking more and more. We're going to just have the crew chime in when they've got interesting points, I've, I've told them to do that. So, 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 so do spend a few minutes talking about Switzerland. Sure, I went to Switzerland back in the early 90s, and what I thought was amazing was, was, was one when we stayed on the ski resort, we go down into town and we had a place to stay in there, and it was a bomb shelter. Huge, probably two foot thick steel door. You go inside there, it had um, cots and stuff, but then they had storage units for people. Every one of them had a machine gun. A machine gun, a helmet, these guys, they were ready. And I thought, back at the time, I was probably a little more liberal. 
than I am now and, and definitely not as pro gun. And I, I was like, Oh, why are they allowed to have all these guns? And I asked one of the, the bartenders there and they said, we're armed, we're armed. That's why nobody invades us. And then as you're going through the countryside, you see these concrete barriers that they had left over from World War II. They just keep them. They're set up and you're not going to get any, any heavy armor. You're not going to get any tanks into Switzerland. Or you're not going to get very far, definitely. And you're going to be shot at by, uh, by people. And there was also, they had trees. Uh, their missile silos are disguised as giant trees up in the mountains. The Swiss are ready for anything. And that's why nobody invades them. And that's why they're able to remain neutral. And that's why they have. And it's because 400 economy. plus years ago, they got taken over and they kicked the enemy out after a, a 60 something years of occupation. And 400 plus years later, they're the richest, safest country in the world. And they've built new tank redoubts all over the country as well. And they are ready. And that's why nobody dared invade yeah, them. We got them up right now. That's exactly what it looked like. And it was amazing everywhere. And a, a lot of people that lived in the cities had little shacks that they would go to on the weekends and have gardens. Uh, the Swiss are definitely, they know what it's about. They're, they know about nature. They know about the Second Amendment. And they know about freedom. And unfortunately, they live in socialist Europe. So they, they have some of those programs there. But it's a very clean place. And they're trying to get rid of it. They're trying to get rid of the cantons. The reason they're successful, and again, we're partially based on this. Also, the, Iro the Iroquois Nation... Uh, gave a lot to the Constitution Bill of Rights. Uh, Jefferson talked about that. The Swiss system as well. They have their cantons that are their states that then go and meet, and the leaders of the cantons meet and are the federal government. Just like we in the past would send U.S. senators were elected by the legislature, they were creatures of the state, they could be recalled, and the states ran the country. Well, in 1913, at the same time they gave us the private Federal Reserve and the collection agency, the IRS, they got rid of that and made senators be popularly elected, making them then their own little kings. And so we need to go back to our Swiss roots and our Iroquois roots, because the Iroquois uh, Confederation and others uh, were, were some of the most successful natives and didn't have as much warring because they would have all their sub-tribes, you know, elect leaders who would then go vote. Uh, so again, that's what we come from. Native American and Swiss and Dutch systems fused together not Greek democracy. We do not come from Greek democracy. That is a lie. Greek democracy was a bucket for black stones and a bucket for white stones. It was only in a few other states. And if they didn't like what you said, the elite got to vote. Not the, not the average man, not the average woman. In fact, most men were slaves. No, Greeks were slaves. Uh, slavery was just across the board. And, but, but the higher up elite would get to go vote. If they didn't like what you said, they'd go vote. And they would, uh, black stones would be a, a, a no vote, white stones a yes vote. And if there were more black stones than white stones on a vote to kill you, uh, then they wouldn't kill you. But if there were more white stones, they would kill you. Then they'd vote on how to kill you. That's a democracy where if 51% votes to say make black people slaves again, black people are slaves again. Uh, if uh, in a democracy, if they vote to take from people that have good health records and have been paying their insurance and double your prices uh, to then pay off insurance companies, it happens. But in a republic, I don't care if 90% of people vote to make black people slaves and, and, and put them in a field and put a rope around their neck and make them pull plows. The black folks or the white folks or anybody else that's being oppressed have a right to say no and fight to defend themselves because in a republic, you can't vote to take somebody's private property or make them live like you want them to or follow your God or not follow your God. This is what America is. And they will not tell us. They lie and they tell us it comes from the Greeks. And I'm not bashing the Greeks. Some of the philosophy, culture, and architecture does, and, and it contributed to the Renaissance overall. But our system is Swiss and Iroquois. It is not Greek, and it's a giant lie that we are a Grecian democracy. We are not a Grecian democracy. And again, Greece at one time had more than 20 kingdoms, depending on which period of the Greeks. So you could find any system you wanted in the Greek system. And I've kind of gone off on a rant here, do. It's just that the average American does not know where we came from. Well, Jefferson told us the Swiss and the Iroquois is where he came up with the Constitution, along with Magna Carta, so it's a fusion of, of English common law, uh, Iroquois, 
and Swiss ideas, and we just need to know what our American roots are. But isn't it interesting that they don't want Hispanics to feel included in Texas, even though the Constitution was written by uh, the Hispanic founder, uh, more than 35.